What's up guys, I'm Paul and welcome to the e-commerce gold YouTube channel. Now in today's video we're going to be looking at Square and specifically their e-commerce website builder to see if it's any good and whether or not you should consider it for your e-commerce business. And for this review we're going to be looking at the pricing, what you get for your money and a quick overview of what the platform is like to use. Now before I get into the review I do just want to talk about the history of Square because it is somewhat interesting, well it is to me anyway. Because Square initially was founded in 2009 as a card reader allowing people to take credit and debit card payments in face-to-face -face transactions on a pay-as-you-go basis. And as the company grew, they started adding more offerings to their arsenal with a full point of sale system and then online payments. But it was in 2018 when Square really made the move into the world of e-commerce when they acquired Weebly, the website builder. And this enabled them to offer their users a fully fledged website builder and enable them to sell products online. So it is quite an interesting history. But is it any good? Well, that's what we're going to be looking at in this video. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to be looking at is the pricing and Square offer four packages for their users. And the one that's going to be appealing to a lot of people is the free option. Because if you're starting a business on a shoestring budget, free is always appealing. And it is a pretty generous offering to be honest, because you get to sell unlimited products, you can sell on Facebook and Instagram. There's also multiple delivery options, you get SEO tools. And to be honest, for a free package, it's a pretty feature rich offering. But there are some drawbacks with the free package. The first one is you can't use your own custom domain name. You have to use one of the Square linked domain names, which isn't great from a branding perspective. Secondly, Square do place adverts in the footer of your website, basically promoting the Square platform to try and get some more business based off your website, which is understandable, it's a free offering. And the third one is the limited payment gateways, because you can only really offer Square's payment option on the free package. But what about the paid options? What do they offer? Well, the three that they offer are really reasonably priced because you get the professional one, which is $16 a month, you get the performance one, which is $29 a month, and the premium one, which is $79 a month. And if you pay for these annually, you also get a discount on them as well. Now, with all of the paid plans, you get to use your own custom domain name and the square adverts are removed from the footer of your website. So the website is just branded to you and your business, which is obviously what you want. But what do you get for your money? Well, let's take a look. Now, I'm not going to go through and talk about every single feature that Square has to offer because this would basically be me just reading off a screen, which would be incredibly boring. But if you do want to go and see this detailed breakdown of the features that Square has to offer, I will leave a link to my website, eCommerce Gold, in the description below, where I have a full written review, which is what you can see on screen, where I've gone through and basically listed all of the features that Square has to offer. And as you can see, there's a lot of e-commerce tools. You also get some good marketing and SEO tools. But the one thing I do just want to talk about is payment gateways because these are quite limited. On the free plan and the professional plan, you can only use Square's payment gateway. Now you can offer Google Pay and Apple Pay as well, but that's all you can offer in terms of payment options. And if you want to add PayPal, you are going to have to move onto the performance or the premium plan. But that's the total offering when it comes to payment gateways, which is somewhat understandable because Square at its core is a payment gateway but it's still quite limited in terms of options. But as you move onto the premium plan, you do get some preferential rates when it comes to processing credit and debit card payments. As you can see on screen, it does drop a little bit. You get a 0.3% reduction in your fees, which may not sound a lot, but on hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of sales, that could actually be quite a bit of money. So what else does Square offer? Well, it offers a few shipping options. You can offer custom rates, you can offer free shipping, local delivery, and also in-store pickup as well. So the final two are great options if you're using Square POS in your bricks and mortar store, because basically you can connect with your local community, offer local delivery, or have people place orders, and then come and pick them up from your store. So this is a really good option for people who have physical stores. Now, when it comes to reporting and analytics, these are only available on the paid options. And if you want the full e-commerce analytics, you are going to have to go onto the performance or the premium plan. Now, one thing is the Square App Marketplace, which is an interesting offering because it allows you to integrate Square with other different third-party platforms, maybe for things like shipping. There's also things for accountancy and things like that as well. So it just makes it so you can integrate it with other platforms to hopefully make running your business easier. 
Now, not all of the apps offered in the app marketplace are available for the online store. Some of them are just for the point of sale system. So you need to go through and see what's actually available when it comes to the app marketplace. So next up, we're gonna look at the theme selection and customization. Now, when it comes to theme selection, you've got one theme to choose from, that's it. But it is a really clean base theme to work from and the customization is actually pretty good. So if you go into our Square dashboard, go into website, click on edit site, it will bring up the theme customizer. And in my opinion, it's really, really good. It's one of the better ones that I've actually used because it offers you a lot of options, especially if you're using the free plan because all these tools are available on the free plan because that's what I'm using. I'm not, I'm on the paid options. So as you can see, this is the basically the default theme. It's a very minimalistic looking theme, but it offers you lots of customization options. And you can go through and click on any of these sections and make edits to them. You can choose what you want to do, but you can also add sections as well. And there's a really good selection of sections that you can add to your website. As you can see, there's across different categories. And considering these are all available on the free plan as well, I think this is really good because you can make a really good looking homepage using Square's customizer. It is really good. And you can actually go into different pages on your site. So you can go into category pages, you can go into your product pages, and there's options available here as well. So you can go through and edit different sections on your page, you can add sections, you can really make it look custom. You can customize it to you and your business. I think it's a really good theme customizer and it's something that's quite enjoyable to use as well because it's very easy. Everything is basically click and drop. There's no coding or anything like that involved. So a really good theme customizer, a good offering from Square on that one. Let's go back into the dashboard and let's talk about some other features that are available with Square. We scroll down, let's talk about support because that is important. When you're using an e-commerce platform, you wanna know that there's somebody available you can contact should you run into any issues. And Square actually has a pretty good selection of support options available. You can drop them an email and they'll aim to get back to you within 48 hours. You can give them a call between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Monday to Friday, or you can ask the community. There's a support forum where you can post a question and either somebody from the Square support team will reply to you or somebody else from the community, if they've had the same issue, will come in and give Give you a solution hopefully you can also search through their documentation they've got some fantastic help articles in their help area and it is really really good so i'd recommend going there first see if there's an article and then if not maybe post in the support form or drop the support team a call but the support options are good the only thing i did find surprising was there was no priority support for the premium plan which is usually what happens when you're on the highest paid plan you usually get premium or priority support but square doesn't offer this which is somewhat surprising and the final thing i want to talk about when it comes to the features is the hosting environment now i haven't been able to check square for performance because i couldn't find any customer example sites to check the performance but they do offer a good selection of features when it comes to their web hosting. You get unlimited bandwidth, you get unlimited storage on all of the paid plans. On the free plan, this is limited to 500 megabytes. They all run on PCI compliant servers, which is kind of understandable with Square being a payment gateway, and you get a free SSL certificate as well. Now, the one thing I couldn't find any information on was whether or not you get access to a CDN or a content delivery network. Now, I would assume so with Square being a global company, but I couldn't find any confirmation of that either when checking through Square or through Weebly. So I'm not 100% sure, but I say I would assume so. So next up, let's have a look at what Square is actually like to use. Now, I know we've already gone through this theme customization, but let's look at what the platform is like an overview. Now, getting started with Square is actually quite a complicated process because initially you're signing up to the payment gateway. You're not signing up just to the online store. And if you're just trying to test this out, this is somewhat annoying to me because you have to go through quite a few different steps to actually sign up to Square. I know I was quite surprised when I went through the sign up process, especially as I just wanted to test the website build route. And I think this is something that Square could actually improve by 
basically just allowing you to try the website builder out for yourself without actually going through and fully signing up to Square because you do have to give quite a lot of information over. Just like you would when you're signing up to any other payment gateway, there is quite a lot of information involved. And say, so this is something I think they could improve and it could be better because a lot of people just wanna try the website builder out and see if it's gonna work for them or not. But once you've gone through the sign up process, you'll be taken through to the Square dashboard. And this gives you access to lots of things. You can access the points of sale, you can access the online store. There's lots of options available in the main Square dashboard. Now I'm not gonna show you that because there is some sensitive information, some personal information to me, which understandably I don't want to reveal. So what you're gonna have to do is then click on the online store and you'll be taken through to the online store dashboard that looks like this. And when you first go into it, you'll be greeted by this short setup guide, which is a six step guide. And it's actually pretty good because you go through and design your website, which I've already been through. You can add an item to sell, set up your domain name, set up your shipping rates, set your taxes up, and publish your website. And the reason why there's no payment option here is because when you actually sign up to Square, you sign up to the payment gateway. And once you've verified yourself and everything like that, that will automatically be added to your Square online store. The only reason you'd have to go in and set up any options for this is if you're adding Apple Pay, Google Pay, or adding PayPal if you're on one of the plans that allows that. But overall, it's a pretty good setup guide. The only thing that's missing, that's missing from every single setup guide that I come across, and that is a prompt to set up your legal pages. So your privacy policy, your terms and conditions, because these are important legal documents for your e-commerce website, and you wanna be covered as an e-commerce website owner. So I'd like to see a prompt added to that, but I'd like every platform to do that. But overall, getting started is a bit of a complicated process because of all the steps you have to go through to actually get set up. But once you've actually signed up to Square, coming in and setting your online store up isn't actually too bad. So next up, let's look at inventory management. And for this, we're gonna go into items. I don't know why they call it items. I would much prefer it to be products because you know exactly what it is then. And then you go on to site items and let's add a new product to see what the page is like. So we could click on create a new item. Now one of the good things when you come to add a new product is the amount of different product types you can actually add to Square. They offer a few different options and this is all available on the free package as well. So if you click on this drop down menu, you can see you can add a physical product, a digital product, a membership, a service. There's a lot of different options when it comes to the types of products you can actually sell via Square. And this is something that a lot of other e-commerce platforms don't offer, especially on a free package. It's really good. But when you come into the item information, what you do is you enter the item title, the price, sale price, description, and the media. Now, when you check different options, when you choose different product types, it will have different options further down the page, which is understandable because a physical product and a digital product are gonna have slightly different aspects to them. But we'll stick with the physical product just for the purposes of this video. So then you choose the visibility of the product, then you choose the fulfillment status. So how are shoppers actually gonna receive the product? Are you gonna be shipping it to them? Are they gonna be picking it up? Are you gonna deliver it locally? Now these are the kind of things that change if you choose different product types, because if you choose a digital product, obviously you're not gonna be fulfilling it in the same way as a digital product. Then you can add additional information. So you can add stock levels if you want to, you can choose to manage stock if you want. You can add a SKU code to it, add gift options set up product variations and also set up modifiers as well. So this is if you want people to add customizable options, there's a text box you can add. So if you want to add customization options for your customer, you can do this via modifiers. Then you can choose which category you want to add the product to. And then the SEO, search engine optimization at the bottom. So you can set up the permalink, the SEO title and the SEO description. Overall, it's a very simple page to use and you can click save and view and it'll preview that product for you. Very simple, very easy to use page. So if we come out of this, we'll look at organizing that product. So this is where you add categories and it is categories on Square. So if you're going to site categories, you can add multiple layers to your category. So you can create a parent category and then you can create subcategories as well. And you can also choose to add subcategories to subcategories. So you can create a really good hierarchy for your products, which is really good because it makes it easier for customers to navigate around your site. But what about when it comes to managing your products? So you've set all your product inventory up and you wanna quickly and easily go in and make edits, update stocks, update prices, things like that. What's that like to do on Square? Well, 
actually it's not that great. The reason is there's not that many bulk options to choose from. So if we click on that to select the products, I know I've only got one, but if we go on the bulk edit options, there's not that many to choose from. You can either choose to remove it from the site, delete it, add it to a category, change the fulfillment status, tax, visibility, or update the sale price. You can't actually go in and change the actual price because the sale price is only if you're putting it on sale. It's not the actual price you're selling it for, if that makes sense. You also can't go in and quickly and easily update stock quantities or titles or things like that. Anything like that has to be done on a product by product basis. And if you've got a large product inventory, this could be quite time consuming. So it would be nice to see a full on, fully featured bulk editor added to Square. Now the final thing I usually look at when it comes to using e-commerce platforms is managing orders, but I can't currently do that with Square. The reason is because I haven't set the payment gateway up properly because I only wanted to test it out, I didn't want to go in and actually set it up as a proper payment gateway, I've not been able to create any test orders, so I can't manage that. But I have gone through the help documentation to have a look at what the order process looks like, and it doesn't seem too bad, but obviously I haven't been able to test it firsthand, because I haven't been able to create a test order for the store. So is Square any good and is it an e-commerce platform worth considering? The simple answer is yes, especially if you're an existing user of Square products. So if you're using the Square card reader or the point of sale system for face-to-face -face transactions and you want to add an online sales channel, I would definitely consider it because you already know how to use a Square dashboard and it's just basically an add-on of that and it will allow you to sell online. And it is a pretty easy to use website builder. But what about as a standalone e-commerce website builder? Well, once again, the answer is yes. I definitely think Square is something that's worth considering because it's easy to use, it's reasonably priced, and it comes with a good selection of features. But there is one major drawback for me when it comes to Square, and that's the availability of payment gateways. It's very, very limited. And as your business starts to grow, you might find this quite restrictive. Now, I understand Square's perspective on this one because at their core, they are a payment gateway. So understandably, they want customers to be using their payment gateway as the primary method of payment. But I think they should have opted for a more Shopify style approach to this and use Square and offer Square as a preferential rate but also offer payment gateways from other companies as well, because it just would have made it a more well-rounded platform. Now, the only other drawback for me is the lack of bulk editors when it comes to managing your inventory. That's something that could be easily addressed by Square and something that they may do in the future. It's not a major drawback, especially if you have a rather small inventory. So it's something that I definitely would consider and I will leave a link to it in the description below if you want to go and check it out for yourself. That is an affiliate link, so if you do go through and sign up to it, it means I get a small commission, which is very helpful to me at no additional cost to you. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you found it helpful. If so, a like would be absolutely awesome. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, you can do by buying me a coffee using the link in the description below. So once again, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Stay awesome and I'll see you in the next one.